Really quick guys, the way to reset your oil light, you open the switch and you go to where it says the oil life right there. And if you if you don't have any oil life and you're already on like the negative where it says uh minus whatever, like minus a thousand, two thousand, it's gonna say service. It's not gonna say oil life, it's gonna say service and then it's gonna say like minus whatever. So it's the same uh, screen as this one. So you're gonna be there. Then you're gonna come and press the select reset button and leave it holding in there. And you're gonna wait until it flashes. And if it's the other screen, the service, it's also gonna start, everything's gonna flash, all the numbers, see? Just like that. If it's the service one, same thing, it's just gonna flash. Then you go again and the same, uh, the same button Hold it again, just leave it holding, and that's it, it reset back to 100. So that's the steps you gotta do, alright. <sighs> alright boys, so right here we have a 2007 Honda Civic SI, we're gonna do an oil change and this is the oil drain plug is located on the passenger side of the engine where the oil pan is at and it says right here engine oil so all right so it's a 17 and okay it's already loose perfect it was kind of leaking a little bit so i guess i guess last time we didn't tighten it tighten it very much <laughs> all right so the drain plug is out I didn't make a mess everything's all clean uh, make sure when you take it out the oil the, the pan for the oil is a little bit more back because it, it shoots out towards the back and you don't want to make a mess um, so it's supposed to be a washer in between the drain plug and uh, the oil pan I didn't have it so I just just make sure you guys have one um, I'm gonna have to put it back the same way but uh, for the next time I'll try to to get one um, when you tighten it back up don't over tighten it it's just pretty much what you call hand tighten it's not enough uh, force uh, I don't know the exact uh, torque specs, but it's not a lot. It's like somewhere in between 20. It's, it's not a lot of torque. I think it doesn't go more than 30 for sure. Um, so like I said, it's just best to do it with by hand. Same with the oil filter. So my oil filter is back there. You guys see it in the middle, on um, the white over there. I get a K&N filter. So K&N is supposed to have a, a like a wrench. Um, the top you see right there so it's easier to loosen it that way I don't have to use that that tool because it's pretty hard to use a tool to be honest I have the tool right there where is it so uh, let me show you let me go outside and I'll show you that so the drain plug was a 17 um, it is never I don't think it's always gonna be the same to be honest uh, because it's happened where like my dad was sure that it was like a certain size but it wasn't because when you go to the auto parts they might sell you like a different size so I have been learning to make sure I use the right wrench because the one thing you don't want to do is um, strip any bolt because that's when you get you get headaches oh, okay. this is the K&M filter and the K&N you're supposed to uh, it there's they're they're easy supposedly to get off uh, this does like a 25 or something wrench uh, 24 uh, let's see 24 no, let's just try the 26 because I think that's the reason why I bought it is that it no it's a 25 so it's gonna be like a 25 wrench uh I thought I had bought it. Is this anyway, we'll, 
we'll try to we'll try to find it Hold on. but yeah the purpose of k &M filters is that you use a wrench and you take it off that way no, also otherwise you're gonna have to use this tool with the other filters it's kind of pain in the ass because sometimes you don't have space especially like on cars like this one so you gotta get your hand in there with the tool and you gotta kind of hug or grab the filter and then twist it so with the k and it's supposed to make it easier uh, to do that and we'll see right now if it really is so it'll be my first time really trying to loosen it with that so yeah so all right still dripping oil it's pretty dirty so just wait till there's no more oil coming out uh, i don't know if loosening the the oil cap will help i don't know if that matters but just in case if that matters just loosen it so i'm gonna clean this up okay guys so unfortunately i i thought i had bought a this is a 25 up here so unfortunately i don't have the 25 to show you guys how it really works uh, but uh, my brother just found this one it's like a cap it goes over the filter like this and it seems to work so then you just ratchet it and it should loosen it so we're gonna try that right now uh, so this is i guess this is another tool for filters you see the shape of this and then the shape of the filter is supposed to fit uh, and then also you have this tool like i said uh, this will also hug it and you can twist it some people remove the the, the wheel and you can actually stick your hand in there but you can also do it through the bottom with this this time we're gonna do it through the bottom see if it works it looks like it works so we'll see so i'm gonna go down there and get that filter off hopefully it works i'm gonna put the the drain back can i get a paper towel for now uh, actually i'll tighten it in a little bit because i think it's that's it it's already it's already dripping like very little Clean it. You know, not even a washer is a lot. Huh? Not having that washer sucks. Alright, so when we remove the when we remove the oil filter, there's gonna be oil dripping too. So we gotta be ready. Do this. I hope I hope it works. So I'm gonna try with the wrench. Oh, shit. I think I feel okay there we go. Let's see. Oh fuck man. The uh, the exhaust is freaking blocking me. Oh my god. I don't have to stop the video, sorry guys. I'll, I'll just explain. So far this is the hardest. Alright guys, I just made a I just made a run to Harbor Freight because it's a freaking one inch. Hopefully it works. I'll update you guys in a little bit. Uh, like I said, you want to be careful. You want to make sure you don't start stripping stuff because Once you start stripping like the oil filter, then it's a pain in the ass man. Trust me So that's the least that's the last thing I want to do uh, There's so little space to get the oil filter with with like the little grabber thingy So I don't I don't want to risk it uh, not right now. So like the car is not in the position where I can just close the garage. So I don't want to deal with shit like that. So uh, I want to try the one inch socket on the filter 
see if it works and then I'll update you guys in a little bit. Hey boys, so this damn freaking socket is what I just went through to Harbor Freight. And it does not look like it's gonna work. Fuck. Yeah, it looks like. Are you kidding me? Nah, yeah, it looks like it. Let's see, hold on, hold on. Alright, so it looks like it works. So I'm going in there. Hopefully, I don't fuck shit up. Here it's recording. Just leave it a phone there. All right, so we're gonna pretend the oil filter is here, right? Uh, what you have to make sure you're doing is uh, just leave it. No, you're coming into. So, close. so the oil filter is like in this position. This is where you put it in. Uh, you have to make sure you're pressing this in because if you just go like this, you're gonna strip it. You have to make sure that the whole socket goes in all the way. Push in so that it's flat and then boom, turn it and it will turn. So I just loosen it right now and it works. So it's uh, one inch. So yeah, uh, it's off. That was a success. So now I gotta take it off. But let me tell you, that, that was so much easier than fucking trying. See, now it's off. It's right there. See how it's turning? So that's what you want. So now, this gets messy right here. Oh, there we go. I got it right on the, the perfect spot. So. Alright, that was a lot easier. Alright, guys. Can tighten it and then uh, tighten it a little bit with the wrench because you don't want to over tighten it because then it'll be a pain in the ass to to uh, fuck now. I I'll get back to you guys. All right, so now we're gonna put some oil on the oil filter. So to my understanding, just pour some in there, uh, some around, and can you put on the seal? And we put it on the on the seal. I'm guessing this will help so that it won't like stick. All right, so we got some in there. All right, boys. So everything is tight. The oil filter is tight. Um, just don't tighten too much. I use the same. I use the wrench too, but don't go over. It. Like just once you start feeling it, it's tight. You leave it there. Same thing with the oil plug. And now my brother is gonna go ahead and put oil on the car. And I'm gonna clean up. Still taking a little bit. Right what do you mean? Oh. Alright. Alright, so we put a uh, 4.5 quarts of oil. Uh, I know if you Google it, it will tell you like 5 point something or almost 6. But you have to keep in mind that that's the actual max capacity if the engine was rebuilt and there was like no oil on it so when there's oil just this oil change it's only 4.5 so that's one two three four all right boys so we put the four four and a half quarts and now we're good to start her up but um yeah that was it. What's your plan on Just trying to show you guys how complicated it was to do it from the bottom without removing the tire because I see that a lot of people remove the wheel. So it wasn't except for me not having the the freaking socket. Once I got the socket it, it took me less than a minute to to loosen the uh, the filter same thing to put it back up like i said just make sure you you're applying firmly because you don't want to strip that fucking bolt then you're up for a headache 
so that that was it boys uh, if you guys want i can show you turning her up but yeah I'm just trying to pour the oil on the fucking jugs and look look at that mess i made all right we're gonna clean it up the wrong key <laughs> she got the other side key all right she's on That's already 2,800 miles over my oil change.